in talking about this exposure, what are you really talking about? Exposure to communism mm -hmm. that would be the result if, uh, say, the United States withdrew from Vietnam? Well, it's not just communism, but communism exploiting old and new conflicts between uh, these uh, small and middling nations. You've, the past has been destroyed. You can't recreate the past. And uh, I think it is unrealistic to believe that uh, a trusting nation like Japan will, you know, forever just be uh, penitent for her misdemeanors in the last war and just produce transistors and, 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 and scooters and little cars for the rest of Southeast Asia, best of all, not paid for, just, you know, in reparations thereafter. I mean, there are certain uh, inevitable you see a day when dynamism uh, about the progress and the growth of nations and I think we've got to learn to live with the kind of nations that have emerged in Asia China, India, Pakistan, Japan all the other nations here and they've got to learn also that the smaller ones have had enough of hegemony and you know like to live their own lives and I think the idea really is to have an Asia which a non-communist half of which is accepted by the communists as being there for all time and impervious to subversion or invasion. But what we want really is first to establish our right to be ourselves. Uh, no, nobody will be tempted to believe that all he's got to do is to brandish a gun and we'll hold our hands up in fright and hand over all that we've got. And I think uh, for the immediate future and the middle term future, what we want is a kind of arrangement between the present partners, the present Commonwealth partners, to build up a credible force that can protect the integrity and security of the interests of Singapore, maybe Malaysia, Australia, New Zealand, and I hope Britain wouldn't have lost an interest.